Hello, the topic for this video is units of measurement, meters, liters, and grams. These are the three units of measurement in the metric system. Meters measure length. They correspond to inches, feet, yards, or miles. Liters measure liquid. They correspond with pints, cups, and gallons. Grams measure weight. They correspond with ounces, pounds, or tons. This is a chart of the metric system. Each of these base units, meter, liter, and gram, can be listed in the middle. These are very small amounts compared to the base units, and these are very large amounts. It's good to have an idea of what things relate to within the metric system. One centimeter is much less than one inch. Centimeters would be used to measure small things like pencils or erasers or the side length of a book or a notebook. Two meters is about seven feet, which is taller than the average person. So two meters is a little taller than the average adult. And meters would be used to measure things like furniture or the length or height of a room. And then we have kilometers. One kilometer is about half of a mile. So kilometers are used to measure longer distances, like the distances between cities or between stores. Grams measure weight. One milligram is very small, about three ounces. So we would use a milligram to measure pills like aspirin or vitamins, how much air is in a jar, or one piece of paper things that are very lightweight. 100 grams is about half of one pound. So you need a lot of grams to add up to a customary US measurement of weight. We would use grams to measure things like paper clips or the weight of a book or maybe a loaf of bread. Again, things that are light but larger are measured in grams. One kilogram is about two pounds. So even though a kilogram is a larger measurement, it is not a very heavy weight according to the US measurements. We would use kilograms to measure the weight of a person or a piece of furniture, something larger. Try these on your own. See if you can estimate the best unit of measurement for these objects. You can refer back to the first slide and look at the chart if that helps. Pause the video, come back when you're ready to check your work. Let's see how you did. I've written out the words and used their abbreviation so that you can recognize them on your homework or a worksheet. If you're measuring a paper clip, something that's very light, you would use grams. The abbreviation would just be the letter G with no other letters in front of it. If you were measuring water in a bathtub, you would use liters, and the abbreviation will be the letter L, usually capitalized, with no other letters in front of it. If you were measuring the distance between your house and school, then you want to use kilometers, and that abbreviation is going to have the M for meters and the K for kilo. So make sure you can recognize the prefix letter with the word and the base unit letter with the base unit word. Remember that meters measure length, liters measure liquid, and grams measure weight. These three base units are here in the middle of the metric system chart. When we look at these abbreviations, we're looking at larger amounts. The kilo is the largest prefix. If you're looking at these prefixes, they're very small amounts. The milli is the smallest prefix you're going to be working with. These can be written either to the left or right of the base unit. So don't memorize a position and equate that with larger small amounts. Make sure you're memorizing the prefix word itself and whether or not that represents a larger or smaller amount 
than the base unit. Send us your questions and comments through the Contact Us page on the website. Good luck.